Hello, gang. Hang on just a second. You know me. Get in a fight with it. I just don't love me. I just really don't. I have on my paparazzi bling. This gorgeous piece right here. Bam. The earrings that came with it. Bam, my papa. Got on a new shirt. Gorgeous. I'm going to call this my paparazzi pink. Why not? I didn't do my makeup. My hair's a hot mess. Got it braided. It's a hot mess. It's always a hot mess. It has a mind of its own. It's super thick and it just does whatever it wants. DJ. Mmm. Mmm, this thing. We're about to fight. Give DJ the week off. Let him have a vacation. Aren't I nice? Even though he wrote that stupid poem. Any hoozle. Uh, the challenge for this month has been that we have to do at least 20, 15 minute, at least 15 minute long uh, lives where we sell jewelry. And then we have to do 10 lives where we just get on and talk, like promote paparazzi, we just talk about whatever, and so I thought, well, this is the 1st of September, <laughs> and I haven't been on here in a little while because after the bling -a -thon, which was the um, 22nd of last month, I remembered it's a new month, um, I, after that, I had to like fall back and regroup, get stuff together and all that kind of stuff because that was a big thing because I went from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. and whew, and I got one person that won something that still ain't got a hold of me to let me know how she wants her winner. So, you know, if she don't do that soon, then I guess it's just going to go back, back into the business. Just do another drawing some other time. I don't know, maybe, you know, something's happened in her, in her neck of the woods or whatever, and life happens. Happens to all of us, don't it? And it sucks right now. Oh, because of the coronavirus and all that junk. And, you know, people out of work and need money, ain't got money. Even with paparazzi. Hey, you know, because sometimes I understand. We don't have the money to even pay $5 for a piece of jewelry. Even though the jewelry is awesome. I mean, bam! Turquoise, copper, gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Comes with matching earrings that are the fish hook back. Gorge, I'm not supposed to be selling. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. So, then I got to thinking, <laughs> after I turned this on, what the flip am I going to talk about? Because I usually just get on here to just do the lives and sell stuff. So, and no, I didn't put on any makeup, and I'm sorry for that. Ugh. I had a busy day today. Got up this morning, had my breakfast, then went out and mowed the back 40, as it were. Not really that much. But tag teamed with my brother and we got the back yard mowed. Uh, what else did I do today? I dusted in the living room, cleaned up. Cleaned up in my bedroom. Kind of got this together, kind of, sort of. All except my makeup. Because usually if I'm not going somewhere or I'm not going to do a uh, selling live or anything like that, I don't put on the makeup. Because it's just, you know, me at home doing nothing. So I usually don't wear bling at home. Yeah, I usually wait until like I got somewhere to go or if I'm going to do one of these. Then I'll put on the bling and the makeup and then all that. And unless I forget and don't have time to put my face on, sorry about it. Sorry about it. 
And ooh, I need to start tagging people, don't I? Look at me. I'm just sitting here talking, going on. I ain't tagged nobody, told nobody I'm doing this. What the? I'm crazy. Let's just tell a few people I'm on here. Okay. I'm going to share to my Gary. Where's the other one? Where you at? Share that one. Maybe. There we go. Let me share that one too. Okay. Sorry about that. Oh, that light is just not cooperating. It's like one minute it looks okay, the next minute it don't. It just, hi Brenda, how are you? Are you having a good day today? That's a little better. Look, well, this ain't, but the light's a little better. I'm not selling anything right now. Right now I'm just getting on here just to talk, I guess. Oh. Well, what the? Okay. Because the challenge was to, uh, this month we're doing, uh, getting on here doing a 20, uh, 15 minute, at least 15 minute long live videos where we're selling the jewelry. And then doing 10 uh, videos where we're just talking, like promoting the business or just doing a commercial or whatever. And I got on here to do something else, got that done, and then huh, I was like, hey, why don't I just go ahead and knock out one of those 10 minute videos while I'm at it. And you're doing good? Okay. Uh, and so I hopped on here to do that. I am wearing my paparazzi bling though. And the earrings that came with it. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. The jewelry is all lead and nickel free. I'm not supposed to be selling. Woo. My nose is itching. I'm sorry. Oh, gosh. I might. The devil, even in these, is trying to get me. Uh, right now, what I'm doing is one of the 10 that you can just talk or promote or whatever. Um, and then after I turned it on, I was like, what do I talk about? I lost my mind. But y'all know that already. You know that already, Brenda. You know I'm crazy. Let me scoot this up just a little bit. I feel like you're so far away from me. Hello. And me and this, we always fight, me and this camera. My sidekick, I let him have the week off for a vacation. Actually, I just want to get rid of him for a week. <laughs> no. I'm wearing, this is new. I'm calling it my paparazzi pink. That's what I'm calling it. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Gosh almighty. Oh, I don't know what it is. Every time I go to do one of these, either my nose itches or I... My throat gets dry. I'm allergic to doing live videos. I'm going, we're going, uh, me and this thing are going to fight so bad. So, you have anything you want to talk about? Ooh, that, I'm not sure that helped. Okay. I can never find a good setting on here. Of course, that's probably because of the thing it's having to set. Nope. That's too bright. Too bright in the eyeballs. So, I don't know what I'm going to talk about. So, I don't want to sell. I don't want to do that. I'm just going to leave the light off. Forget it. 
braided my own hair even though it looks like a hot mess. Mm -hmm. My nose itches, gosh almighty. Um, what was I saying? Oh, hold on. Got that twisted all the wrong way. There we go. I, uh, hmm, what did I say? Oh, I was talking about how I got up this morning and had my breakfast and then I went in and did, uh, went in, went out and helped mow the backyard and then I came back in and then I dusted and stuff in the living room, did housework. So I have done my week's worth of work. No, I'm kidding. My day's work. I straightened up my room too. Did that too. But I do that every day. So that don't really count, does it? So what can I say? Paparazzi's awesome. I'm trying to excuse me. See stuff. Oh what can I say? Paparazzi, let's see. Why did I get into paparazzi? Let me go that route. Let's try that. I got into paparazzi because, number one, I had, uh, ended up out of a job. This was before COVID hit. It was long before COVID. I was out of a job, and the money, of course, quickly ran out. And I ended up having to move back in with my parents. <laughs> I don't like having to move back in with my parents, but then too I do, because at least I know who my parents are and, you know, we get along, sort of. <laughs> but, um... And I forgot what I was, oh yeah, moved back in with them, and I was trying to find a way where I could do some kind of work, like from home, or something like that, that way I could be here to help them around the house, with stuff, and what have you, in lieu of paying rent and stuff, since I didn't have any money, um, but at the same time, be trying to build up some money, so I'd have some money to, you know, put gas in my car and to pay on my my car payment and that kind of stuff which thank the Lord with my parents being patient with me and uh, money kicking in when it did I was able to finally pay my car off so that's a burden lifted off of me my parents everybody because there for a while my parents were helping me pay that the payment on that um, because I didn't have the money. But I was, you know, trying to find something that I could do from home. And I wanted something that would be, you know, kind of fun. I didn't want something that would be like, hi, how are you? And you want fries with that? You know, I wanted something, I've done those jobs. So, you know, I realized those are not for me. I don't like boring jobs. But I also have trouble because I, many, many, many moons ago, I took a tumble down the stairs, or rather a slide down the stairs, and hurt my back pretty good. And so now I have problems with my back a lot. And as the years have gone on, of course, <laughs> I like to eat, as you can see. And so that hasn't helped it. And then I have arthritis in my left knee which has caused me to like have pain in my right knee because I adjust because of the pain in my left knee hey so anyway in 2017 I had been dealing with that hot mess express stuff wasn't in happy mood at all hadn't been for quite some time before that you know I'd, I'd have days where I would just want to just lay in bed all day cry myself to sleep that kind of thing and I'm not saying this to make anybody feel bad 
or to make myself look like I'm, oh, poor, poor me. Yeah, no. I'm just telling you what's going on, how I got into this. Um, and I think it's, it's better to tell the truth, you know, than to tell a lie and then have people later on say, well, what? I didn't know this was that. I mean, why didn't you, what? You know, I've always been taught, just tell the truth. Truth shall set, set I can't say it. The truth shall set you free. There we go. See, finally get it out. Uh, what was I talking? Okay, 2017. You know, I've been going through mass, having all this, not wanting to get up out of the bed, trying to get some sleep, and in like late 2016, early 2017, it started getting really bad. I had having some not so great thoughts. You know, and so I decided, you know, the, no, I, I can't, this, I need to talk to my doctor. I need to go to my doctor and I need to say, hey, I'm cray cray. I need some help. And so I talked to my doctor and I was diagnosed with depression and got medication for that. And that helps. It does. Now, depression is something that can't be like cured. It's not like. You know, like, like you have pneumonia or the flu or something like that, and they give you medicine, and you know, after a while, then you're better. Depression is something that, without the medication, you know, I still have it. Even with the medication, I still have it. But the medication makes it a lot more manageable. Yeah. But that happened in 2017. Um, and so that with all the other, you know, my back problems, the arthritis, all this kind of stuff, it got to a point where, um, in 2017 and 18, where my, I started having a lot of trouble with like, I couldn't like sit down for long periods of time. I couldn't, um, well, no, in 2017 and 2018. My major problem was things that I used to be able to do, no problem, like bending down to pick something up or, um, you know, just walking for a few minutes, doing something or standing up for a few minutes doing something. I used to not have a problem with it. I could do it. But then it started getting where, oh, I couldn't bend over, you know, far enough. And yet it wasn't because of the weight. I know a lot of people go to that, but it wasn't because of the weight. It was because of the pain I was having. Pain and, you know, the arthritis in the knee and uh, back pain and all that. And I was having horrible cramps um, in my uh, thighs and that kind of thing. And, you know, so it, it was like one thing after another, it seemed like another and after another and I'm like good lord come on now I, I went and I got medication for my depression got that taken care of I asked for help like I should I went and um, I had like started every diet known to man I've tried everything to lose weight right now I'm working on doing the Noom stuff I don't know if anybody's heard of that but they've got an app on the where you can get it on your phone and that kind of stuff and I've been working on that stuff it seems to be helping uh, you know the jury's still out because I haven't been doing it that long so we'll see but um, yeah I started having problems with being able to do that kind of stuff and then as again as the years went on it was like the problems just got worse and worse and worse. And it's like now to the point where I can't get up and walk for any length of time. You know, for more than like maybe, I'm going to say about five minutes. I'll give it about five minutes. And then my back and stuff, my back and my legs start hurting. And if I don't go and sit down for a few minutes... 
then I won't be able to function the next day. But also, if I sit down for too long, then I have trouble getting back up. You know, a lot of trouble getting back up. If I don't have chairs with arms on them, I have trouble. Um, if I walk, let's see, I already said walk. Walk for any length of time, walk for like five minutes, sit for more than five minutes. If I stand for more than five minutes, my legs and stuff hurt, start hurting, my back starts hurting. And so, you know, holding a job, a regular job, it's kind of hard to do that because, you know, where are you going to work where you can lay down, half second, stand up half second, sit half second, back to the laying down. There's no job that's going to put up with that. And no job that's going to put up with you having to call in the next day because you overdid it the day before. You know. Um, and I don't want to be one of those people that takes medication for every flipping thing. You know, I don't want to take medication all the time. But if I have to take it in order to function, most of the medications that you have to take for like back pain and things like that, they tend to make you like sleepy or whatever. And they tell you not to drive or anything when you're on those. So, you know, you can't take that and go to a regular job outside. So doing something like this really works for me um so you know I, I like getting back to what i started talking about uh, i told you all that to tell you this one of those things but um i was looking for something that i could do from home something you know that wouldn't cost a whole bunch of money to get into number one number two that I could do that, you know, I thought I could do at all, period. Um, excuse me, I'm sorry. Devil's coming back. Mm -mm, nope. But anyway, I, uh, trying to remember what I was going to say. It's pitiful when you don't write the stuff out. But that's me. And what's pitiful, even worse, is I used to like to write fiction and stuff like that and poems and what have you. And I used to like doing crochet and knitting in my spare time. And then when the depression hit and was getting bad, I just lost interest in all that. And so, I'm slowly picking up the crocheting and knitting again. A little bit. But writing um it's just like i can't get my mojo going but it doesn't matter because it's okay it'll come back if it comes back if it don't it don't it wasn't meant to be that's the way i see things now um so my sister had started selling paparazzi she had bought her kit and started selling and, and doing live shows and I started watching those, and, and not just to support her, but, well, the first few times it was to support her. But then after a while, I was like, I want to watch that just because it's fun. You know, watching the interaction on there and watching her talking to these people and their little messages and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, and she's selling something that's fairly cheap. I mean, considering... Excuse me. I gotta move this again. I gotta adjust just a little bit. Owie. Owie. Okay. There we go. Now I'm adjusted. I've got you almost up my nose holes. This says I have three people watching. Who else is on here? If you're on here, say howdy. Let me know you're here. Please. Any hoozle. Well, good for you. I, uh, where was I? Oh, yeah, I was watching Melissa's live shows, and I thought they were awesome. 
fun and that kind of stuff. And I thought, hey, I'm crazy. I can get in front of my phone, video function on my phone and act a fool. I can do that. And I thought, that may be an avenue for me, you know. Uh, so I saved up some money as best I could. And then I bought my first kit. I decided, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to buy into this. I'm going to do this. I bought the, the cheapest one you could get to buy in. Because, you know, again, I was out of work, so I didn't have a whole lot of money to play with. So, I got the cheapest set, which was, uh, ended up with taxes and everything being about $112. That's about how much it was for a kit that had everything you needed to start. And it had what, 35 pieces of jewelry. It had a uh, display. Yeah, it had one, one display with it what they call the busts, and one of those, it had, what else, it had all the invoicing stuff, the marketing stuff that I might need, whatever I needed to get this party started, as it were, except for, you know, me and my ideal on how I was going to do it, and I thought, okay, that's cool, and I haven't sold, you know, it hadn't been like I got on and like sold out just like that. It took me a while. A few, a few times, at least, I'm going to say at least five or six sales before I sold a hundred dollars worth. I'm lying. It wasn't five or six. I just remembered. It was three, I think. Three, three. Three, three sales. Um, and because I set it as a goal for myself, a low ball goal, uh, that I wanted to, by the end of a month, I wanted to at least have sold $100 worth of jewelry. And I met that goal well before cut off you know so that was good that was great that was awesome um and that's not counting the online stuff the online stuff i haven't done that much but i think it's just because people don't know about it yet you know i hadn't got I, i'm not getting through in other words but i'm trying and i'm not gonna give up because if you quit, I mean, pfft, what's the point, you know? I mean, I could just purchase enough jewelry to keep myself active, but at the same time, not sell it. You know, just purchase jewelry for myself and not sell it. I could do that, but I'd want to share with everybody else. I like sharing. And... Sue and Bob. No, I'm kidding. Anyway, plus the fact, you know, it doesn't make me any money. I won't be able to buy more for myself if I don't sell any. See what I'm saying? So, I like getting on and doing the little shows and, and selling the paparazzi the blingy bling and what have you and I did those commercials it was another one of their contests that they had where they had like a it was a week long and you had to come up with they had a different theme each week I mean each day um, and you just had to do something with that theme and so I thought hey I'll just do like commercials or whatever for it and just use that as my selling you know everybody sells with commercials right anyway 
That's what all that mess was before. Yeah. It's crazy. It's a hot mess. Um, I did have a, uh, let's see, where am I going? Okay. Started out, I had a, uh, was just getting on here and doing the live sales. And then I did those little commercials. Then I had set up a um, group page for me and, you know, the few people that have joined me in that. Um, and thank you to all of you that have and to all of you that show up and watch these videos. Uh, even if you don't stay, thank you. And I know, you know, this is on so early in the day. I usually don't come on doing any kind of lives or anything until like seven o'clock at night and then I run until I'm about to fall out um, but I decided to go ahead and do this while I had the camera set up and now everything and had everything going and so excuse me uh, I'm so sorry so anywho I don't know how long I've been on here. Hey Google, what time is it? 5.01 p.m. What time did I come back here? I don't even know. Anyway, doesn't matter. I'm just doing this for one of the 10 out of the... But that is what I um, started doing, selling the paparazzi. I started the, the group page on Facebook. Um, that is Blinga Palooza for anybody that wants to come check it out. Like I said, it's on Facebook. I did have a Facebook business page, but I closed that down because I was having some issues with some things and I hadn't been able to get on there and get it straightened out and what have you. And so I'm revamping that. So that's down right now. So, um, but I also have an Instagram account, a Twitter account, a Pinterest account, and I have YouTube. And YouTube, it's just under my name, Robin Patmore, if you want to go by and check that out. I have the commercials that I did uh, on there, and I'm going to start trying to put the um, live shows, ones that I can on there as well for the paparazzi stuff. Uh, it's under my name. Uh, like I said, it's uh, Robin Patmore YouTube. And just look for Robin Patmore. And uh, it should be, it should have its own little group that says paparazzi or bling palooza one of the two. And that should have the videos there if you ever want to watch them. It's up to you. And on there, on YouTube, you can like and you can share and you can comment and all that good stuff. Um, on here, all you can do is share. You can like by just saying, hey, I like this. On here, commenting and doing the thumbs up or something like that. Um, but that's the way I do the live shows and stuff. I have a website through Paparazzi, which Paparazzi is awesome. They give you that for free. You don't gotta pay nothing. You don't gotta set it up. You know, you just say, hey, I, yes, I would like one, and there you go. You know, you sign up to be a consultant, and boom, you're a consultant. Let me fix this real quick. Well, maybe I will. Am I still going? What's going on here? It says I'm alive, but nothing's moving. Oh, you're just making me mad now. Okay, so it's just wanting to be on a ray. On a ray. Stop it. On a ray. Stop it. <laughs> ah, you should enjoy seeing me be foolish, right? Okay, anyway, I, uh, my website is 
www.paparazziaccessories.com backslash 400,000, that's four and five zeros, no comma, and that'll take you to my website. You should see this ugly mug. I'll be wearing my glasses in there. Um, and you can shop online till you drop. Whatever you want to look at, whatever you want to buy, you can do it through there. Um, I'll still get the credit as your consultant. If you need anything, you know, you get on there and there's something you don't know about or you want to ask something, shoot me a message and say, hey, what the what? What does this mean? And I will answer you as soon as I can. I promise. I'm here for you. And because I decided I adopted the motto that my, I want my work to work for you. Because, see, if I don't do a good job, how can I expect you to be happy with it? I mean, come on. You know? If I want to do good, I got to do good. <laughs> so, let me see what else can I talk about. I uh, talked about the website. talked about YouTube. Um... I have a regular Facebook page and I have the the group page. You can find me on either one of those. You can uh, shoot me a message on Messenger. I got that too. You can. Um, I am so bad today. Oh, usually I'm on it. Today I'm like, ugh. And I think I wore myself out doing all that work this morning. Of course, rocking in this chair doesn't help. Uh, but anyway, that's me in a nutshell. It's my life. That's what's going on with me. Um, that's how I got into paparazzi. This is something I thought, hey, that's cool. That's fun. I can do that. Um, I'm saying I'm a lot. Sorry about it. Sorry. I'm from Kentucky, so it could get very twangy. Could I guarantee? Anywho, so I let's see what can I tell you about? What else can I tell you about me? Ah, uh, you already know I'm crazy. I am an aunt to eight, yeah, eight kids. I am a great aunt. Yeah, yeah, I said great. To how many is it now? Let's see. Counting the wrong people. <laughs> okay, I'm an aunt to eight. I'm a great aunt to
It's going to be about 12 or 14. I don't remember. I lost count. There's so many children. Plus, there's some on the way. There's at least one that's on the way that hadn't got here yet. But I'm a great aunt to them. Oh, my goodness. aunts. So I don't have any kids because I don't need any. I got all them. And I like it where they just come visit me and whatever. And then they go home to their mom and dads. Yeah. And I'll spoil them and then send them home. That's the way you're supposed to do it. That's what answer for, right? Uh, trying to think of other things to say. Because I don't want to just hop off here. I don't want it too long. I don't want it too short. I just want to, you know, say something. What else can I tell you about? I've talked about the fact that I am wearing the bling from Paparazzi. It is awesome. It's gorgeous. I like it. I like it a lot. I've got a bunch of it for myself. I got so much that I ran out of room of where to put it. Hold on one second. I'm going to show you this. Just a second. Maybe. <laughs> I lied. I lied. Nope. Wait a minute. Wrong button. There we go. Look at all that over. That's, of course, that's my grandmother down there in the corner. Gorgeous, isn't she? And then that's me and my brother and sister right up above there. And then giraffes that's uh dj's family um but i've got all this bling over here that's hanging up right there that scarf my grandmother over here she made it for me years and years ago when I was a baby, she made it for me. I don't know if you can see it or not, but right up there sitting against the wall on my desk is uh, my ring holder. And it has, there's several of the little uh, spokes that have uh, more than one ring on them. Now over here, this bag right there, and then there's another one over here on my bed. Hold on, going to spin it right there have more jewelry of mine in it. My own personal jewelry. My bling that I found and thought, oh, that, I love that, I gotta have that for me, you know. But I still have a lot of bling that I didn't sell during the blingathon, which blingathon I had 100 pieces, 100 different pieces. Ooh, I still have 77. So I sold some, but not all of it, but it's okay. If I sell it, I sell it. If I don't, I don't. I'm not going to worry about it. Can't worry about it. You know, what are they going to do to me? I don't sell it. I just have that much more bling. <laughs> I'm going to have to find somewhere to put it. I'm about to win the lottery so I can buy me a bigger house put all my bling in. Ugh. So, oh, blue, 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 blue. Hold on, I scooted you back again. Come here. I'll get this right one of these days. One of these days. There we go. It's a little better. Not much, but a little. Up. Oh, hold on. Bear with me. Me and this thing fight all the time. There we go. That's a little better. Not much, but a little. Yes, you're having to look at me. I know. It's awful. It's a good thing Jerry ain't here. He'd be making smart remarks. And I have to pop him in his nose. Smack a swacking. Anyway. 
I, 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 I need to adjust this just a tad bit. I know, this is ridiculous. Me and this thing fight all the time. So, that's, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I showed you all my bling. I gotta find, you know, a better system of putting that up. My own personal bling, where I can put that. Because that's getting, getting a little much. That or I might have to stop buying. Oh, I don't want to do that. Can't help it. See something you like? And so, oh, that's cute. I'm going to get three of those. One for me and two for the customers. At least that's the way I've been doing it. And I know there's a lot of people that that sell the paparazzi, that uh, a lot of consultants, that they'll purchase like 10 or 12 something to sell. And then they have all that inventory, you know, a lot of inventory left over. Me, I don't really have the room for all that inventory. I'm going to be getting some more. Not room, but more inventory. And that's going to take up a lot of room. So, I can't really buy that much. My theory is, sell what I've got. Then once I do that, then... I can buy more. You know, once I get going really good where I have enough money coming in to really uh, be able to afford places to put everything, that kind of thing, then I might bump it up to purchase some more pieces to begin with. But for now, I like doing just the small numbers, you know, trying to help myself out. Because it's kind of worked for me so far, you know, the fewer pieces that I buy, the fewer pieces I have to sell. I know that sounds terrible to some people, but my logic is if I, if I bought like 10 pieces and I only sold two, then I got eight pieces left over to find some place to put. So... Right now, I don't have the room for, you know, putting a lot of pieces somewhere, stuffing stuff. You know, I got to budget my space here. I only order, like I said, like three. You know, that may be the highest I go on it. One, if it's something that I like also, it, it may be one for me and then two for me to put up to sell. And then that way... Hey, if I sell only two, then I've sold out of that particular item. And, you know, yeah, that doesn't make me a whole lot of money. I know that. I understand that. But until I can get my system up and running, get myself, you know, straightened out, squared away, where I know, okay, this is going to go over here, this is going to be over here, and that's where I can put that, and, you know... I don't want to, I already have too much jewelry of my own. If I added all the inventory that I have for selling with the inventory that I have for myself, I got too much. No, I'd have a lot already. And like I said, the, there's two bags full of jewelry just for myself that I got to figure out where I'm going to put it. You know, because I'd like to have it out and have it displayed like the other stuff, but I, you know, I don't got all the room there. I don't want to cover up, you know, my grandma's face with my bling. Don't want to do that. So I have to figure something else there out, and I will. Just next time, because you know. And I'm very seldom together. So, I'm working on it. And I haven't got any new stuff in yet, so that's worked out okay. You know, it's not entirely okay, but it's okay at the point that, you know, while I got a bunch of bling sitting to be sold, 
If I don't have a, a whole bunch coming in to have to figure out where I'm going to put that. You know, because I don't want to just leave it sitting somewhere. I want to, you know, if it's nice pieces, which they're all nice pieces, and they're all really affordable and that kind of thing, I'm not supposed to be selling. Devil's trying to make me sell. I'm not going to do it. Not in this video. I'll do it in another one later. Like maybe tomorrow. I'll do one where I sell. But those are going to be like flash sales, so to speak, because I'm giving myself 20 minutes, 15 for selling the bling, and then like five or so to get the video up and running, to end out the video, but I'm going to do like, I figured it up, and I'm going to do like three pieces each video. Spend like four minutes on each piece. If, if I think so. I might go through and start it and decide, okay, that's too much time to spend on one piece, so I will do more pieces. But I went through and figured out, you know, how many lives we had to do with at least 15 minutes and figured out how many pieces I had and figured it that way. You know, dividing it by how many days I had to do it and that gave me my number of pieces that I needed to do each day at least so that's how I'm going to do that just putting it out there but those I will announce ahead of time this I don't I don't know I don't know if I should have announced ahead of time that I was going to do this live because actually I didn't really know I was going to do it. I just kind of on the fly figured, hey, while I got this up and running, let's just do this. And you can see what a hot mess that's turned out to be. But I, 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 I want to be a game player, a team player, a game player, a game player, a team player. And, uh, like I said, apparently their brains is gone for the week because DJ Jerry Longneck, a.k.a. The Spotted Wonder, has the week off. He's gone on vacation. Yeah. Or he's quit. I'm not sure. I hope he hasn't quit. So, in Hoosle, this has been a bling service announcement, so to speak. Um, not really. All about and why I got into paparazzi and that kind of stuff and I know it wasn't very entertaining maybe nobody cares to see it but that's what's going on in my neck of the woods going on with me that's why I got into paparazzi that's why I love paparazzi that's why I enjoy it so much because I get to do these things and act a fool and if nobody watches, well, good. <laughs> nobody saw me acting a fool. And if somebody does and says, uh, oh, you're that. Mm. Well, yes, but you bought bling off me, didn't you? <laughs> so, anywho. That's, I think that's going to be it for today. For this. Yeah. Because I can't think of anything else to talk about. And it's probably boring you to tears. And so I'm just going to get off here and let it go. Let it go. Let it go. And say that I hope your days, your lives, your everything is going better. Much better. And that things are getting better everywhere. I hope. I wish. Pray. And... Please, please come back, even if it's just to watch the shows, even if it's just to watch this and say, ha ha, you're crazy, whatever, just have some fun, and I hope you have a very happy and blessed day, and I will see you again probably tomorrow afternoon, maybe. Love you all. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. Bye-bye now.